what is up guys jbr tech here and today i'm gonna be showing you how to get pov shots with your camera for free well not free if you don't have the tools i'm gonna talk to you about it's gonna cost you a couple of dollars most likely have a smartphone in your pocket on your desk somewhere charging and if you do then you'll probably be able to follow along this how to video. Now I'm going to show you how to get POV styles uh, videos when you're doing photography. So if you have a mirrorless camera such as this one right here, I got the X-H1 pair with the Per Gear 35mm f1.2. You guys know I love manual lenses. I love this lens. So cheap, affordable, but has great image quality. And uh, what we're going to do is just going to show you how fast I can focus walking around my office here, kind of like testing out this POV using a manual lens. I think that's it. It makes the POV even more fun when you're using manual lenses and all these manual settings. It's just make the overall experience really nice. So that's what I'm going to be showing you. But first, let's get our tools together. First of all, the, the things we need is hopefully I'm already imagining you have a smartphone somewhere. So get that thing out. And I have my way over here working as a clock on my desk. So the first thing you want to do is open up the camera app. And if you have any recent modern smartphone, you most likely have this ultra wide feature. So you want to go 0.5 times. Um, the image quality is going to degrade greatly. It's going to get really bad video quality, but you do get that super ultra wide goodness. So POV is basically you're showing your audience what you're doing with your camera while you're getting the images that you're displaying in the video. So the next thing we're going to need is actually the way to mount it to the camera. But we need a couple of tools that you could get from Amazon, eBay, even you most likely find it in the dollar store or any camera shop for cheap. Got this little shoe mount adapter that has a quarter inch thread on the top, as well as a cheapo smartphone mount adapter. That's it. So with these two tools, you'll be able to get POV action. So let's go ahead and assemble them together. So we have our tool here to mount our camera. It's flexible in various ways. We can actually turn it to the sides and up and down. So it's a really cool, neat mount adapter. All right, guys, and now all that's left to do is assemble everything together. We got our camera ready. We have our mounting assemble. So let's go ahead and Put it in the camera, shoe, hot shoe. There we go. After doing my test, I noticed that it's better if we put the camera a little bit farther away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually turn this thing flat, horizontal like this. And then this, this shoe mount, Put it upside down like that and then we'll be able to turn this up like this sure everything is nice and tight all right so everything is nice and sturdy and you want to put mount the camera so as the lens will be closer to the camera that way you could make sure you have your camera in sight so let's go ahead and mount it up here there we go now you can actually see what's going on you could see my hand so let's start recording let's go to video go ultra wide and that's it start recording bam so now i'm recording with my smartphone um you're able to see my shutter button you could see when i'm playing around with the shutter speed I just leave it in auto and compensate with my aperture, which you barely get in the view on the iPhone. It's barely in there. But you could see me focusing and whatnot. So let me turn on the camera. And you could see me focusing there. 
we head over to stills bam it's really easy to do manual focusing with Fujifilm thanks to their focusing assist that they have and uh, as a quick tip I love using the dual screen you know the dual screen is um, you have the big screen is the overall image but then I have the little screen on the right closing and punching in so we can see when something is in focus it even adds the peaking red peaking pair with that zoom window so it's just an awesome way to just focus so it's really neat really awesome way to do this now I made a video for you guys showing you this whole setup in action so let's go ahead and see what this looks like conclusions is about this whole DIY POV camera view thing is that while well, it works it's pretty cool I can't wait to get out in the field and test it out out in the street you know so you could see me uh, shooting away on the streets but um yeah it's definitely doable well, of course uh GoPro will be the most ideal POV camera but those cost a couple of hundred dollars. Even the old ones, the used one, they still set you back a hundred dollars or more, maybe a couple hundred dollars. So why not use the camera you already have? That makes things a lot simpler and just overall, yeah, easy and cheap. So definitely, uh, I'm gonna post another video later, uh, me using this whole setup outside. But for now, I hope you enjoyed that short montage that I made of me shooting inside my, my office. And if you liked the video, you feel like being awesome, smash that like button, share it. And what else is there to say? But thank you and peace.